It all started when this one douchebag stepped on my pizza. <sighs> Sores won't satisfy this anger. It has to be guns. Oh, oh. That was my fifth attempt. Oh my god. Can you beat Devil May Cry 3 using only your guns? Let's find out. For this delicious challenge, we're gonna need a few ingredients. Careful while making this yourself though, because you're gonna need a new set of hands for this. <laughs> Devil arms, if you will. <laughs> you're gonna need uh, guns. Duh. Mixed with the style Trickster. A lot of bosses here are near impossible to defeat without it. Pretty much all the bosses and enemies use melee weapons, so it's best to keep your distance, so Trickster is a good pick. Then you're gonna wanna sprinkle on some Royal Guard. I didn't really want this style to be in this challenge, but it's just too hard and the Royal Guard makes it a little smooth so it goes down your throat easy. And we're gonna try our best not to use any sharp objects, so the young ones can do it too. Now let's get cooking. I'm gonna drop this whole chef thing now too much sweetness in the script. Oh, by the way, uh, spoiler alert, I only used Royal Guard once in this game and never again. Just wanted to let you know. I died three times on the first boss fight and I almost thought that it was all impossible. But I finished this game seven times, so I'm not giving up because I still have some knowledge on this game. Sure, that was about eight years ago, but that's not important. Then I found a sick shotgun, but I also died here a bunch of times because of the new enemies. The fight with Cerebrus was super easy. I could have done it without taking any damage if I was good at it, but I'm not. They gave me their aid in my journey like the little bitches that they are. And yes, I am allowed to use melee weapons to break objects and use them in puzzles because bullets don't have any effect on either of them. Party? What's the hurry? Didn't you get an invitation? <laughs> then I came to the weird puzzle house. I always hated this place, so I'm gonna skip it. Nothing serious happened here, so you don't need to worry about it. My god, do they have long lives. The damage my gun was dealing was equal to slapping John Cena with a small spatula. But it was done after a long, long, long time. Then I met this weirdo that was telling me to use my sword on some door to open the door. Like, like switches don't work, do they, have, do they not have switches? And Dante, of course, being the man of culture, he used the sword. And luckily, the clown could dodge. He probably had Trickster equipped, I don't know. The fight with Jester isn't really worth mentioning because all you have to do is shoot and run and bam, he's done. You might think that he's dodging bullets, but he's not dodging bullets. <laughs> he's not. After finishing the puzzle house, I found a secret mission. I wouldn't call it a secret because it's like right there, really, who are they trying to fool here? But anyway, that secret mission said I gotta kill 4 or 5 enemies without taking any damage. My brother was telling me that I can't do it without swords, but guess what baby, I heckin did it. And at last, I came to one of the actual longest fights that made me wanna question my sanity. Agni and Rudra. It was so horrible and Trickster was proven useless after 3 hours of constantly dying and dying and dying and dying and dying. So I had to use Royal Guard here. If you didn't know, this is like the most overpowered style. It's like parrying bosses in Dark Souls. But even with Royal Guard, if one of the brothers die, then the other one becomes twice as powerful. And considering my hand is literally giving up, I realized that it was indeed impossible for me. Yes, my muscles were actually starting to hurt. It was winter, so most of the blood in my body was like, <laughs> I guess it's time to retreat. But I had a plan. I got both their health to a slither and took them both down at the same time and got two more useless swords. Wow. That paid off. That that really paid off. That that really paid off. I'd rather have them talk throughout the whole game. The three trials were also super easy thanks to the trickster and I also got another useless gun. I'll save you all the trouble and get to the part you really wanna see. My first fight with Virgil. It was over in three minutes. <laughs> yeah, I wiped the floor with a smooth, tender, soft, juicy, kissable jacket. I, yes, I'm straight. Fuck you. After that I got to the most disgusting fight in my opinion. I died here a few times but I got through it. Ugh. And Virgil opened some gate to be stronger while acting like he didn't get his ass handed to him on a silver platter. Then I found the most awesome gun yet. 
spiral. It shoots. It shoots far. It ricochets. It ricochets far. And above all, it kills far. So, friendship with shotgun ended. Spiral is my new friend now. <laughs> But now is not the time to welcome our new gun, for I have a dance with the devil. Well, I am the devil, so I guess I'll call her a prostitute. This fight lasted for 5 hours straight. Well, not exactly 5 hours, a little more than 5 hours. 5 hours of me constantly getting my ass kicked. It got to the point where I said to hell with it and went to sleep. Yes, I actually really did do that because my hands were finally giving up and I finished this fight the next day. And she also became my bitch, a useless one. Guys, this girl is literally the one for me. I use guns. She uses guns. Fate has sealed our paths. I need to get that big rocket launcher from her. Don't you know Dante is a virgin? Piece of shit, what the fuck were you thinking I was saying, huh? He may be a demon, but he's a religious one. No sexual intercourse before marriage. Just go. So I left without even looking at her beautiful thighs like a good religious man. Don't ask me how I know she has beautiful thighs. I totally didn't put my head between them. And alas, I came to a fail. I never thought it would happen with this challenge, to be honest. This is why I even did this challenge in the first place, because I thought it wouldn't happen. But uh, these weird flying shield enemies have orbs behind them that can only be broken through melee weapons. And I say that with absolute certainty because I have tried literally every gun on these enemies but it just doesn't happen. After trying for a while I decided that I would go and ask Facebook for help and moved on with the story so do not worry I will get back to you with a valid answer. Then I ganged this messed up looking dog. Hey Poochie, you've woofed your last woof. After one death I did it. Really some of these bosses wouldn't be as easy as it looks or sounds if it wasn't for Trickster. The dodging allowed me to make some distance to shoot safely. Sure, the gunslinger makes it easy because of the damage it deals, but at the same time, I am at an instant disadvantage of getting sacked in the sack. And Trickster lets me just make it out of the attack range of the enemies. And even then, I somehow managed to get hit. Second fight with Jester, meh. This dude fucking sucks. He can dodge a single bullet, even when he dodges. Then I fought the horse and got a cool but useless style because what's stopping time gonna do for me. <laughs> that has never been useful. I like how Virgin acts all cool after landing a bitch ass final slap on the enemy that I almost killed. And still acts cool as fuck. This is what we call all bark and no bite. I also like how he acts all cool deflecting all those bullets but if you look carefully at his health bar you can still see that he still takes a little bit of damage. This reminded me of that scene from Deadpool and immediately the fight just became hilarious for me. And once again, my foolish twin brother only got close range fighting tools to use against me, so... In my opinion, Trickster is the best style to use against Virgin here, because this dumbass only has two ranged attacks against you if you go far away from him, and even they can be evaded, so yeah, he is basically the easiest boss if you time your dodges right. A demon like you wouldn't understand. Hmm. I need that. Would have been nice if you felt a little charitable today, woman. And then I came to a somewhat fail. These flying weird angels of death that never stop striking you are a huge pain. I tried shooting them lots, but it didn't work, so I only used melee on their bodies so their armors would break, and then I shot them. I didn't kill them with the sword, just merely damaged them so I could shoot them. You can count it as a fail, but I don't, because <laughs> breaking the shield doesn't do a lot of damage. Like not at all. By the way, I'm playing it on normal difficulty because this is the only option presented to me right now, but you can get the idea of how it would be on harder difficulties. Plus I want to make it fun, not torture. So, remember when I said I would bring you the results? Yeah, I asked Facebook and I didn't get any proper answer. Most of the people just said, Just play DMC2, it has OP guns, easy win. Now, I don't wanna sound like an asshole, but hey, smart asses. I said I need a solution for Devil May Cry 3. Stop shoving that shit down my throat. If the answer is that obvious, then should I even bother doing it? They either say that or they say that I should try shooting at them, like that wasn't the first thing that I tried. Now three people came to my aid and one person said that I should use Gunslinger's level 3 shotgun to my advantage, but that didn't work. 
it has one of the you know the dash attack thing it kind of does a melee damage but it still didn't work another person said i could use the artemis yeah the useless gun and since it has no use at all i thought maybe it has some hidden talent so i used that and never mind it was also useless i also tried spiral sniper shot and that was just deflected yeah any melee attacks from guns don't count as melee attacks that somehow makes me feel happy and sad at the same time. <laughs> so yeah, killing those dudes is a fail. So I guess that's one fail. My soul is screaming, demanding me to kill him. <laughs> that's enough motivation to keep me going. That's enough motivation to keep me going. Mary, can you tie your shoelaces real quick? And thus the fight between two gunslingers began. And oddly enough, I had gunslinger equipped, so that made it even fun. We had a really amazing time in the library. All alone. Look, I know Dante is religious, but I needed that rocket launcher and she needed that dick. And as I see it, it's a fair trade. And so I was fulfilled. I was now a living, breathing arsenal with more bullets than God. Then it's all just backtracking with new enemies that are about to have a few more holes to breathe with. And I also met my alter ego. He was he was pretty cool. Beating him was pretty easy too, I just smacked the balls and shot him in the face. After getting another useless style, I played the most unfair chess match. Okay, time for another questionable fail. If I hit the magic mirror and the enemies die because of it, does it still count as a fail? I will leave that to your decision in the comment section. I couldn't find a way to break them with my guns because Dante auto locks on enemies if they're nearby. And alas, the final battle was upon me. I was very ill prepared, I will say that. And this shit was the most terrifying fight in my opinion. Not the oozing purple jam, but the slimy bastards he sends to attack me. I was legit scared from their screams and I was always short on some health. And every time I do get his health low, my bitch ass brother comes to my aid being like, Ooh, I'll help you kill him because I'm a side character that's now nice and I was bad before. Get the fuck out of here man, you are a failure. And he also replaces my style, so Trickster is gone. Now my biggest worry was these small ones that got my health lower. And I wasn't clicking dodge fast enough. Plus there's just way too many. And when Dante comes, I lose the ability to dodge, and no weapons were helping my case. That is, until I took the rocket launcher Mary gave me. These crinkle fucks didn't stand a chance against it. The blast radius killed a lot of them in one shot. So I had found the weapon, but what am I gonna do about the losing health part because I am still losing lots of health. I always get his health to a pint and always manage to die. So I entered the fight again with 4 health refill packs and this time I actually beat him. <laughs> Jesus Christmas Christ, did your mom give birth to you on an incinerator? Then the girl that gave me the rocket launcher killed him because he's her father or whatever. I'm dumping this girl. I don't I don't date women with daddy issues. That's a joke by the way. After beating Baldis, my brother reverted back to being a greedy nut. So gonna lie this one was actually a little difficult like by little I mean a lot after the fight I got back to lady or Mary Ann I guess because that's her name and apparently I gotta give it back <laughs> I, I like that bazooka are you crying it's only the rain Okay, fine, I'm crying because you took the rocket launcher. Why you gotta make it more embarrassing? Jeez. I see. Maybe somewhere out there, even a devil may cry when he loses a loved one. 
That's the name of the game. She said it. Holy shit. My life is fulfilled. I am immersed. And um, the total playtime is 33 hours, 33 minutes and 8 seconds. You can finish it in less time though, because I played through it all again to level up my gunslinger style to kill those flying shield enemies, you know, the ones that made me fail. Yeah, so there you have it. Can you beat Devil May Cry 3 using only your guns? Unfortunately, no. There is only one type of enemy that required me to use swords to kill them. But otherwise, you can do it. Maybe you can find a solution to this, and if you do, please let me know. And uh, I guess, enjoy the fight. You killed over 100 demons. <laughs> yeah, boy. You thought it was over? <laughs> nah, fam. We still got Prince of Darkness to kill as Virgil. Get me to, um, I guess, uh, I don't know. Get me lots of likes in this video, and if it reaches to my level of satisfaction, then I will do a Virgil playthrough. This one is also difficult, so it should be fun. And I will see you on the next video. Until then. I forgot my catchphrase. <laughs>